All right, here's what we're going to be upgrading. I have, uh, like a lot of people, I have a standard cable modem. You can see I've got a small Netgear switch up there. And then I have this uh, fanless computer that I'm using for my firewall uh, and web filtering. So I'm going to try to put a rack in here. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to probably take those top two shelves out. I just put those shelves in just, oh, probably a couple months ago, and I hadn't come up with this idea yet. So I'm thinking that's, you can't really tell from this video, but that's about a two foot by two foot square. And I'm hoping to put a 9U rack in there and clean all this up a little bit. So I'll probably start off with a patch panel at the top. And probably the first stage, I'll just do a patch panel and a shelf and uh, get some of this stuff organized. I'll do that both for time and money. Uh, I work quite a bit, so I'll just be doing this in my spare time. So I'll make myself get the patch panel done, which will be probably one of the hardest parts of this. this. And I'll make myself do that before I move on and buy more equipment. So this will keep my cost down and let me uh, put that cost or spread that cost out over time rather. And I'll give you guys an update uh, when I get a little farther. I guess the first step is going to be to cut these because they're a little too tall. So I'm going to have to unfortunately take all this out just so I can cut those uh, vertical upright uh, bars here that the shelves mount into. I'll cut these off, make them shorter, and that'll give me uh, that two foot by two foot space that I need up here in the corner. All right, I got step one done, which was to remove the shelves. If you remember, they were here. And then I cut off these uprights here and here. I had two more shelves up there. So that area is where the uh, two by two nine U rack is gonna go. And I was able to reuse those shelves over here. So it's always nice when I get to recycle a little bit. All right, I just got the rack put together. It came in a small box, which I'll show. It took about 30 minutes to put it together. All right, here's an interim stage. I have the rack mounted. That went pretty well. And I've got the switches in, and I'm in the middle of punching down the patch panel. I have uh, the first four punched down, and I'll punch down the rest later and button this all up and hopefully get this looking a lot better but i just wanted to give you guys a interim shot of what it looks like mid cycle here kind of messy at the moment hope to have that a little bit better all right i've made a little bit more progress i have the patch panel in and fully tested and uh, cable routing actually turned out okay so Hopefully I'll get the rest of the stack moved in here shortly and I'll have another update. Okay, here's the finished product. The cables didn't turn out nearly as neat as I'd hoped. However, I haven't purchased any additional ones really either. I could spend a little bit more money and get some really short cables that would be the exact correct length. I may do that later. I have one thing that's power over ethernet right now. I, I plan on putting in an additional power over ethernet switch if I add some power over ethernet cameras and then I may use a special color such as red to designate anything that's basically hot so I don't plug it into something I shouldn't or at least the thought is maybe it would help me so an additional one rack or one U with one U tall rather switch may go in and I may also add a uninterruptible power supply right over the switches uh, and I've currently got it set up so the power on our internet, you can just do it in order. So I'm only using these four right now, but you power up one that does the cable modem, leave it on for a minute, go to two, that does the router, leave it on for a minute or two, then a switch, then the access point. But it makes it easy if I'm not home, they just power it on one, two, three, four. So anyway, that's what the finished product looks like. Guys, I'd love to hear some comments, uh, maybe some suggestions. I didn't really kind of know how to tackle this. I just kind of looked around on the internet and see what I could find. So maybe you have some suggestions or uh, leave links to your own before and after videos or photos. Those are 
often fun to look at. Guys, please do me a big favor. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you.